It's that time of the month again, when statistics are released onto Sensor Tower for our favorite gacha games, and we get to see which games rose, which games fell, which games reigned supreme, and which games are being left falling into obscurity. Do note, Tower Fantasy is not included in this list, as it did just launch globally within the last 48 hours, and earnings within China are so insignificant that they're not even worth mentioning. Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legends, seriously, each and every single one of you. I would offer to give each of you a kiss, but I suffer from severe intimacy issues. Additionally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest MMO gotcha and gaming news, take a second here to follow Mrs. Dix and I over on Twitter. We tweet daily. To the surprise of everyone watching, Genshin Impact is back at number one again, earning a grand total of $92 million globally and featuring 4 million new downloads. This is down from the $105 million that were earned last month. Uma Musume is back down to number two after briefly entering number one two months ago with $57 million earned between Japan and Korea. Yeah, the game actually just rolled out in Korea with a global release slated for uh, sometime in the future. <laughs> Uma Musume accrued 330,000 downloads in total. Fate Grand Order came in at number three, destroying its competition with $48 million earned globally and 280,000 total new downloads. This game somehow continues to pull these absolutely insane numbers out of a significantly smaller player base, showing the power of the Fate intellectual property. And given all the, uh, the artwork that isn't necessarily not safe for work, <laughs> Yeah, it's no surprise as to why that is. Diablo Immoral comes in at number four. Uh, and uh, come on guys, you know that this one was coming. With $35 million in total earnings and a million downloads. For comparison, last month the game saw $38 million in earnings and 14 million downloads. A very sharp decline in terms of new players, but relatively steady revenue otherwise. Project Sakai comes in at number 5 with $18 million earned and 800,000 new downloads globally. Heaven Burns Red is always in the top 10, coming at number 6 this month with $13 million earned and a mere 50,000 new downloads. I honestly think that uh, this game is beginning to reach the limits of its potential audience. At number 7 is Summoner's War with $13 million earned globally and 80,000 new downloads, surprisingly low downloads given its large sum of earnings. At number 8 is Blue Archive with $11.2 million earned and 210,000 new downloads. For reference, $10 million of this was from within Japan. Global only made a mere million dollars. Ark Knights comes in at number 9 with $8.9 .9 million and 120,000 new downloads. $6 million of this is earned exclusively through Japan, and a large number of that is also made through me, as I spend probably far too much money on this game. Shiro Neko comes in at number 10 with $8 million earned and 60,000 new downloads within Japan exclusively, once more showing that it is likely reaching the limits of its Japanese audience. The Idol Master Cinderella Girl Starlight Stage comes in at number 11 with $6 million earned and 12,000 new downloads. This franchise definitely earns a lot, but mostly through diehard fans, as is evidenced by how little new players they seem to reach. Epic 7 comes in at number 12 with $5 million earned and 220,000 new downloads, most of which came globally. Azure Lane holds the number 13 spot with $4.5 million earned and 105,000 new downloads, this many years after releasing as well, which is genuinely surprising to see. Princess Connect comes in at number 14 with $4.4 million earned and 44,000 new downloads. Punishing Grey Raven holds the number 15 placement with $3.7 million earned and 277,000 new downloads, most of which were generated globally. Number 16 is Honkai Impact 3rd with $2.9 million earned and 388,000 new downloads, which is actually a significantly larger number than I'd expected given how low its earnings were. And 
They are the 16 most downloaded, highest earning gacha games of August 2022. Counterside and Artery Gear Fusion are sitting at roughly a million dollars or less in total earnings, proving that they have absolutely no lasting presence or power, much to the dismay of their respective communities. I'm curious to see how Tower Fantasy and the rest of August's gacha games do over the next few months. Speaking of, if you're interested in Tower Fantasy, you might be interested in this video or this one over here for a list of every gacha game coming out this month.